everyone. It's Chelsea Comer. How are you? I'm going to give you a second to get over here because I know Brian is just finishing up. Um, good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Is everyone excited for a great crafting day? I'm Chelsea Comer, and I am live here in the Inky Stamper Studio. I see you guys coming over. Brian went over just a tad. It's okay. No worries. No worries. Grab your coffee. I'm going to go ahead and grab mine. We are going to have fun today. We are going to be making a very fun turtle card. And I'm just going to wait for a few more people. Get a last sip of coffee. All caffeinated. Good. Ready to go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, friends. I see you all. See you all. Let me refresh my screen. Hopefully you rescrushed yours. Yep, I see you guys coming in. Yay, hello, 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 hello from the softball field. That's a new one for me. Well, today we're going to be making, I don't know if you're going to make this on the softball field. Um, uh, today we're going to be making the Turdly Flipper Fun Card Kit. Um, I absolutely love how this card turned out. I love the colors. I love the turtle. It flips open, flips open flips open, right? So we are going to get started without further ado so that we can get the whole thing started. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. I'm going to flip you up to my ceiling like I normally do and then flip you down and we'll get crafting. Here we go. If you're just joining us, make sure you grab your turtle kit. There's my dragonfly ceiling. Make sure you grab your turtle kit and your turtle stamp set. We're going to show you how to do this card, and you can use it on any other stamp set that you might have in the future. So there we go. There's my desk. So again, this is the kit that if you ordered the kit would have come to your house. Um, and this is the turtle stamp set. Absolutely love this turtle stamp set. We are going to use a lot of of the sentiments and a lot of the accessories in the stamp set today. So here we go. Um, first off, you're going to open your kit and you're going to want to take out the very large and be careful with all the pieces, very large kit here. And see, there's lots of pieces. See all those pieces in there? Be very careful. Um, I do want to say a shout out to my friend Margie who is helping me in the background today. She just gave you the shipper, uh, shipper, the free shipping code um, that we have. We have a free ship code for free shipping, and that is turtley, because you guys are turtley awesome. We thought we would give you a fun, um, a fun uh, coupon code. So first off, I want you to find this blue piece. This blue piece is your arm that's going to keep the front closed and you're going to go ahead and bend it, right? And then you're going to find, again, lots of pieces. Sorry about this. You're going to find this piece that's going to go right on the arm. Okay. So I'm just going to glue that piece to the arm like so. Using my Nouveau glue. There you go. You can see just that's all you need to do there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue this down first. This card is only like it doesn't open up. It's just a backing, but there's definitely other parts that flip open. So the backer card here is what I'm kind of calling it. You're going to glue that down as well. So right on here, you're going to glue that down. And that starts your card, right? That's the hinge to the front piece. Absolutely love this card. There are a lot of pieces. We took a lot of care in cutting them all for you, which is fabulous, right? And then you're going to find this green polka dot piece. Absolutely love these colors together. I have to say, like blue and green is like some of my favorite colors. Blue, green, and purple are like my favorite colors. So this card plus the turtle. Oh my 
goodness. Um, here's the piece. Now this is going to go top to bottom, kind of centered. See how that goes? So now you've got that center piece and you've got this flap, right? Okay, perfect. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to, eh, should we set that aside? Maybe we set that aside. I'm going to stamp on this one next. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Yeah, you know what? We're going to we're going to do that next. I'm going to stamp the turtle next. Sorry, little confusion. We're going to go to this piece and there's three of these. So don't worry if you're like which one? Which one? There's three of these white pieces. Just take one of the white pieces and you're going to stamp your turtle. Let's go ahead and do that. That sounds like a great idea. Get that out of the way gonna put a little piece this I'm using my precision press because for those of you that know me I absolutely love the mini precision press and you know why because it makes me a perfect little stamper um, if you've been watching there's a new version of this coming out it's bigger and it does the same purpose but it does it round you're still gonna need this one for your little things like this, look how great that is. Now, if I think his eye is not quite dark enough, all I do is I go back, I add a little black to the stamp pad, and then I'm going to stamp his eyes one more time. And look at that. Look how crisp and clean I got that stamp just by using this and the peg system on the mini precision press. Love this little tool. It's $15.25, $15.95, somewhere in that range. And um, I seriously think it's the best small investment for your stamping. You will never say, oh, let me flip that over and try again. Um, you'll just keep stamping until you like the image. It's great. Okay, so next I'm going to die cut this. Um, I'm using my easy cut die cutter. You can see one thing I love about it is that it fits right on my Facebook screen here. So you can see the whole process from start to finish, front to back. There's my turtle, just like so. Voila! Look at him. I love how our dies cut close like that. And um, you got a perfect little turtle, just like so. So with that, and you get the dies in the stamp set, which makes it so, so convenient. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring my turtle. I've got E31 for the shell, and I'm going to go ahead and start coloring the shell with my E31. Now give me a little bit of grace if I miss something, but I'll try not to. I normally miss um, tails. Oh, I should zoom in. I know you guys like it when I zoom in. So let's see if I can't zoom in and move up. La la, yes. Okay, so this is fun Saturday morning watching Chelsea color. Awesome, awesome. And then a little bit more on the bottom of this shell. There. Now I'm going to come in with a slightly darker E33. And these are all Copic numbers. Um, you can use whatever system you have. You can use colored pencils, watercolor pencils, whatever you would like. Um, I'm just going to add some E33 at some of these bumps and mostly along the bottom here and maybe there. And then I'm gonna come back in with my E31 again. Am I still on camera? I still am on camera. Yay. So I come back in and I just kind of give a final swoosh through. And look how much dimension those two colors have given the turtle shell. Love it. 
Love it. He's so fun. Now, he can't keep a white turtle. He looks he looks ghostly white. So let's go ahead and give him a little color. I got YG03 right here. And I'm going to go add YG03 to him. Oh, I forgot to do... Oh, his tail's going to be green. Okay, see, I almost forgot his tail. I'm going to do his legs. Legs. And then his face forgot his toenails. I did his toenails in brown. Um, so I'm going to go back in and grab the brown real quick. Oh, look at that. I forgot a leg. Huh? Do you see that? I have one leg hiding. That's okay. Come back in real quick. See, I always kind of forget something because I'm trying to go so fast on camera. Okay. And then I got a YG63. I'm going to come in and just add a little darkness under the shell, along the top of his head, on his legs, and then I'm going to blend that with the YG-03. Again, you can use any colors you have. I'm just telling you which ones I have. And now, look at him. No more ghostly white. He's super, super cute. Oh, I love him. I love him. Okay, so let's build up that panel really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you out, zoom you in. There, out. Isn't he fun? Adorable turtle. I know, right? Um, so I'm going to take this scallop. Um, that should be pretty easy to find. And then the other green. And I'm going to go ahead and add the green to the scallop. Go. Okay, and then we're going to stamp your turtley awesome right on this white strip. You see that white? Uh, you see that white strip? Awesome. We're going to take your turtley awesome because you guys are turtley awesome for showing up at 915 Central on a Saturday morning to see me. Thank you so, so much. And hopefully your project is going to be turtly awesome. Um, I'm going to take this and ink it up. You're turtly awesome. Stamp just like so. Oop. There you go. Uh, you're turtly awesome. And then let's go ahead and add some pop dots. So we're going to add pop dots to our turtle. Now, all these pop dots, I think you have seven here, are going to be used between that and this piece. So if you use like four over here, that's what I would recommend. Put three on the back of here or use two on the back of here and five on the back of turtle. Anyway, you have seven. So use them wisely. Um see you're gonna put your turtle right about yay high and then you know one thing I found we're gonna put these not totally toward the center but a little more centered because it's gonna hang over a little bit you'll see that you're totally awesome right across like so awesome you're totally awesome. Now, this piece is going to go on here, but before we put that on, we're going to go ahead and do the other pieces as well. So you're going to grab another one of your white pieces, and you're going to stand. You're going to um, add the brown piece right to the bottom. Okay, so brown piece right to the bottom. Yep, my wrong glue. This is my glue right here. <laughs> Add glue. And then we're going to get out the snorkel and the snorkel mask, I guess you'd call it. So the snorkel and the snorkel mask. Again, we are going to use almost every 
stamp in this this collection at the end of the or at the of this project and the bonus card project. Um, we'll see how many we have left at the end of the day. I'm going to take the mask and I'm going to go ahead and ink it up. I love that about our collections that you can do so many different things with them. You've got background stamps, you've got accessories, and then of course you've got the main image and some super fun and maybe a little snarky um, sentiments. Absolutely love that. All in one set. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out my B05 and I'm just going to color the mask part of this just like so just really easy B05 fun and then we're gonna take the um, mm, snorkel pipe snorkel air breathing tube um, maybe it's called a snorkel I don't know we're going to stamp that actually on this other white piece of paper. Now, don't um make sh don't just stamp it right in the middle cuz you need to stamp one other little thing on this last white piece of paper. And maybe we'll do that too. We're going to stamp the snorkel tube and then we're going to get those flippers because this is a totally flipper fun card because it has flippers on it. Do you like the puns that I have? Sorry for puns first thing on a Saturday morning. Might get you laughing and wake up on a Saturday morning. Wakes me up for sure. Okay, so there we've got flippers and we've got your air breathing tube, right? And I'm going to take that. I'm going to blow you up so you can see me again because I know people like seeing me color. Um, blow you up. Look at that. I'm going to take the B05 again. I'm just going to color the flippers. And I like the B05 because it matches that color cardstock. But again, any color you want to color these, absolutely going to be fun. Okay, then I'm going to add just a little touch to the snorkel as well with these little pieces here when B05, right? Awesome. So that's what those are gonna look like. And then, let's zoom out again, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fussy cut these pieces really quick. So here we go, fussy cutting. watching my time as well. I think we're doing really well. Um, we do have that bonus card that everyone loves. I can't wait for that. And I do at the end have a very fun bonus card that I made um, with another set with this fun, fabulous layout. Um, so stay tuned for all of that. But I hope you guys are going to have fun today. Do you, I don't know if Brian mentioned this, but I think we're like at the three year anniversary of doing this. We started in 2020 right after lockdown and it was about March or April. So I think we are in the third year of doing these and we've been with uh, Brian and Carol since the start and it's been super fun. So there is the pipe, uh, the pipe, the air breathing hose. I should have looked up what all these pieces of snorkeling were called. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. See, Brian just responded. Totally forgot. It is like the three-year anniversary. I totally thought it might be. But he didn't mention it, so I wasn't wasn't 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure it's like the three-year anniversary right now. So welcome to the three-year anniversary. Okay, here's the um, inside card, right? And we are going to just glue this brown piece right at the bottom. I thought it'd be better to do all this before we attach it all. There we go. There we go. 
go. So happy three year anniversary to Brian and Carol and to all of those that have been with them for a long time. I know like Shirley Merker's been with them for a long time. Club Scraps been with them. Like all of us, we've been super supportive. Um, yeah, and uh, Ken Oliver's been with them from the start. So we're going to add these flippers right here. And then we're going to add a vitamin C. <laughs> I love this stamp. It says all you need is a good dose of vitamin C. Carol Parker, I've been here all three years. I know, I know some of you guys have been here all three years. I know some of you, that's the way you found me three years ago. So um, welcome and thanks for being a part of us the last three years. Okay, so here we go. We've got all you need is a good dose of vitamin C. Stamp that right there. Woohoo! I always like it when my stamps cooperate with me. And then we're going to start putting this all together. So we're going, oh, one more thing. Sorry. We're going to stamp inside the flipper flapper card. We're going to stamp, na na, shell yeah. Shell yeah. We're going to put shell yeah there and we're going to put a shell and we're going to color that shell. So two more stamps. I told you this is going to use a lot of stamps, almost the entire set. It's a great way to showcase the entire set. And who doesn't love a fun, fun looking turtle, right? Someone told me this turtle reminded them of Tootsie Pops. Um, and I have to say, yeah, definitely reminds me of the Tootsie Pop um, turtle. Do you guys remember that turtle and the owl? And how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, a one, a two, a three. Um, yeah. So shell yeah right here with the shell. Oh, and look at that. I'm going to try and see if I can't correct that. Uh, uh. Look at that. I did it. <laughs> I almost had a mess up there. Um, E31 live stamping right here for you. Where else can you get live stamping? So I got E31. At least I think this is E31. Yeah, E31. Live stamping. There's bound to be a mistake happens somewhere. But hopefully not too many. And hopefully correctable and or you can embellish whatever mistake you make. Right? There you go. Shell yeah. Shell yeah you can. <laughs> okay, so now we've got this inner card, right? Shell yeah. Um, so now we're going to take this piece and we're going to glue this down, right? Because we're all good here. This is coming together. Did you think we could do this in half an hour? At one point, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in the time frame. But that, it's 45 minutes too. So could I do it in 45? Yeah. Could I do it in half an hour? Uh, maybe if I didn't talk so much, but here we go. So we're just going to line this up against the bottom and the top and center it. And there you go. All you need is a good dose of vitamin C. Now here's where the fun comes in. You're going to cover that part. So you're going to cover this with this scallop rectangle. See, just like so. And I try and put it and if you need to make sure that your back piece is closed right, there you go. Um, I try to center it so that this turtly awesome is right across the brown strip, right? So all you need to do is put glue right here, right? So I'm going to put some glue right here. I keep picking up the wrong glue bottle because that one is empty. Why don't I just put it in the garbage? That'll work. Okay, and so then we're going to cover the flippers with your Turtly Awesome. Then you're gonna open it up and you're gonna put this piece right there. What? Chelsea, this card was way too easy. You stepped it through perfectly. Yep. 
Thank you very much. I love this card and this card layout. So here we go. Look, you're turdly awesome. Opens up. All you need is a good dose of vitamin C. Shell yeah. And again, if you don't like any of my sentiments because you're not that punny, <laughs> feel free to use your own turtle sentiments. I it's it's your card. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the last little embellishments here. I'm gonna tie the twine. I know I love this stamp set too. These are like the perfect sentiments. They're very punny. Um, the turtle is perfect. So if you need the turtle stamp set, they are in the um in the store. If you want this card kit, unfortunately they might be gone soon. So if you want this card kit and you want all these pieces, we had four left as of this morning that I put back in the store. So um go you can go and get those, but I would imagine they might sell out quickly. So if you want one, go get it now. Okay, so you're totally awesome, and be sure to pick up the Turtle Tuck card kit when you get it, because you want to make this card, right? So fun. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you are these clear water drops, right? I recently found these, and I think they're fabulous, like water bubbles, but I'll tell you also, you can color them. I colored them with ink on the back of them, and then I just laid them on my project. But I'm going to put three dots of glue. These are so fabulous. They like magnify. Like right now it's going to look white. But it will dry clear because this glue dries clear. And it's going to magnify that green on the back of it. And I'll show you um, a sample that has these colored as well. But these clear water drops. Oh my goodness. They are so fabulous. So there you go. Look at that. And I've got 15 minutes to make the other bonus card. Ha -ha! So we'll be good. And uh, there you go. So there's the card. What do you guys think? The clear dots and coloring them. Oh my goodness. They are, they, they just make your project. Um, and they're so fun. So I gave you probably, if you got the kit, I gave you probably about five or six if you pick up a package, there's like 150 in the package. It's perfect. Okay, so we're done with the one card. We're going to go ahead and take out the bonus mini card. Love this card as well. And again, be very, very careful of all the little pieces because you've got lots of little pieces. And can we just say, I'm super excited that I did not mess up the order of that card. <laughs> I made sure to kind of walk it through my head a couple times and yay, yay me. I'm just going to say, because I'm super proud I didn't mess it up. Okay, because who likes a messed up card on a Saturday morning? Not me. Okay, so here's the fun thing with this project. I sure hope this worked. I put rainbow washi tape on your plastic bag. You're going to carefully, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna come off. I'm hoping, because some of yours, including mine, have been on there for a month. Look at that! Pull off perfectly. Might roll up on you, but that's okay. You're gonna go ahead and put the rainbow washi tape, before we forget, on the bottom just like so. Um, I would say like three, a half to three quarters inch up. Ugh. I need to put this on the table here. Just like so, right? Look how fabulous that was. I was able to give you washi tape on your plastic bag that you could then use. Oh, perfect. I think I'm going to put washi tape in more of these kits now. Okay, so then we are going to take this piece and again, don't lose any of your pieces. Don't lose any of your pieces. We're going to take this piece and we're going to use the windmill and we're going to stamp the windmill two times. Two times. Um, this, this, it might also be that it's doodlebug washi tape. Absolutely love doodlebug's washi tape. It's not the cheap stuff. I know the cheap stuff sometimes is good because it's cheap. But the doodlebug stuff, 
is good because it's good. So there we go. Two, we're going to stamp two um, pinwheels, and it's pretty easy to stamp two. One, one way, one the other way. Both fit on the card. Um, we are going to go ahead and color this rainbow. Rainbow coloring. So one of them we need to color the stick. I'm going to take my E. I'm going to also zoom in because I know how much you like it. There, we're zoomed in. I'm going to color one of the sticks brown with my E33. Maybe lighten it up just a bit with my E31. There you go. And then I'm going to take my... Ooh, did I not bring... Oh, maybe I didn't do red. I think I did RV14. Let me just check this here. Oh, yeah, I did. Because this... Because the rainbow was a little more pink, I decided to go a little more pink than red. Okay, good that I wrote down what colors I was using. So I'm going to go ahead on this other one, and I'm going to color this one pink. Or it doesn't matter. You can start any one that you want. But it's kind of like a dark pink. And then I'm going to go orange. Oh, that pink was RV14, in case you were, in case you wanted to know. Um... YRO4 um, is the next one, which is orange. You're just going to do the whole rainbow here, orange. Y17 is the next one. Doing good on time. I also like that. YG25 is the next one. Okay, and then for the blue, I got B02. And then for the last one, I know you guys like watching me color on a Saturday morning, um, is oh, VO4. VO4 for the purple. And look how fun that pinwheel is right? Look how fun that is. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now a couple things we're going to do. First off, I'm going to zoom you out again so you can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut this stick. Now, please note that you need a little bit above it, but not much. So I'm just going to cut out this stick and just add just a little bit above it, right? Don't go up all the way to this centerpiece, right? Just a little bit above. So that's what you need right there. So you got the stick. And then because the die set comes with the pinwheel die, we're going to use the die to cut out our pinwheel. Now, it takes just a little bit to figure out which, which way this goes. But once you figure it out, line it up. Stick it on your easy cut platform and na, 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 cut it out. So now you have a stick and you have a pinwheel. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay, so we've got this piece. We've got this piece. They're going to need to go together. Before, um, you're not going to glue it. You're actually going to use... Um, all of, well, not all, but let's go with, you're going to use seven of your adhesive foam squares. So I got three, four, five, six, seven in the middle here. Okay. So you got seven on the back here. Going to go ahead and peel them all off. in the garbage and now uh -huh, before I do that um do you see this little clear move it now for the clear move it's we sell those in packs of 20 and we also have the let's move it dies we cut all of your um brown pieces with the clear move it uh let's move it uh circle die right 
So that allowed for a perfect circle in the right place for this clear move it. This is fabulous. And anytime you want something to rotate, I would highly suggest this. So you're gonna put the clear move it, it's like a snap. You're gonna unsnap it and then snap it right in place, just like so. Then you're gonna add it to your card, just like so. Ha <laughs> ha! And then you're going to put this stick right up to where that is, and you're gonna glue that in place. So stick, you can pull it down a little too if you would like to overlap the rainbow because it'll work, it'll still work. But what's gonna happen then is you're gonna get this piece that's gonna spin. What? Get out. So we're going to put this small pop dot right on top. Let's see where I am. I got nine minutes, perfect time this really good and then you're going to put this right on top and then you're going to take your small silver embellishment and you're going to put that right in the middle just like so see that and then you're going to take your white piece and we are stamping slow down and enjoy your day right so i hope you guys all slow down and enjoy your your Saturday. I'm ready to slow down. I, I've been, I've been, I've been here pacing myself, trying to make sure I get these cards in. But now I'm gonna slow down and enjoy my day. Right after this show is over, and I'm gonna put the last two foam squares on the back of the sentiment. That is gonna pop up. Did I show you how this spins? Look how that spins. Oh my goodness. How fun is that? How fun is that? And then lastly, you're gonna just add your string right to the top. <laughs> yes, you need to slow down. I know. I have been running since like January 1st. <laughs> um, but here we go. Let's tie that. But I always love coming on these Saturday mornings. I do like the first spot in the morning, I have to say. I love the first spot in the morning. It does require me to make sure I get up early and have everything ready to go. But I love having my coffee and getting ready and coming on with you guys. Here we go. So there you go. That is the full project. Look how cute that was. Ah! Coupon. Thanks, Margie. Coupon code is TURTLY to get your turtle stamp set. Maybe the rest of the turtle kits with free shipping um, and free shipping on everything else. But these were the two cards. So I'm going to flip you guys around and I'm going to show you one more bonus card. What's bonus cards? Me. Okay, here we go. You're going to see my ceiling. Nope. Awesome. There is my ceiling with my dragonflies. And then, ha ha, yay. Hi guys, hi guys. I love seeing all my friends here on Saturday morning with me. So this was the card we made. Again, flipping and flapping and all of that, all using that fabulous turtle stamp set. Make sure you check that out. And then finally, this fun little bonus card. And we made it all in under 45 minutes. Oh, super fun. But here's the bonus card. Are you ready? Are you ready? So um, my partner in crime, Kim, she just got a brand new cat. His name is Linus. And I was like, what stamp set should I use? Oh, I'll use the cat. And it'll look just like Linus. So <laughs> you love my earrings. Do you love my This was like water droplets, kind of like a water droplet theme today. And then again, matching Inky Stamper Splat Blue Earrings. Thank you. Thank you. So this is Linus. This is Linus the cat. And it says you're the perfect friend. I know that it might be backwards because we're live here. But you're the perfect friend, right? Super fun. 
And look, these I colored yellow. I think maybe you can tell a little bit, but those I colored yellow with the ink as I kind of gave you a hint on other ways to use those uh, raindrops. So you're a perfect friend. And then we open it up and look, there's like cat scratches and a little fish over here. And then it says, I like your catitude and the fishbowl on the, on the table, right? And then finally, I hope you're feeling great with the yarn ball. Super fabulous little card. Very similar to the turtle uh, layout, but it's the cat. So, and I love this cat. Um, Kim, I really think this looks like Linus. Anyway, shout out to Linus if he's, uh, if he's watching. <laughs> okay, so um, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have fun on this fabulous Saturday. And we're back um, after three years. We've been doing this for three years with Brian and Carol. So I hope you guys have so much fun. Go shop www.inkystamperstore.com. Be sure to use the free shipping coupon, which is turtley. And hope you have a great Saturday. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.